Hey everyone, I am here to share with you the rest of week number two um, for my December daily. And I don't remember if I stopped here or here. I think I stopped here on this page um, for my December daily. But here's that back of that clear sheet. This will be day 11. And this day I actually, um, I don't have an elf on the shelf because my kids are kind of big. I'm thinking really hard on getting one. My son's been asking for one and he's in fifth grade. But I have been telling them that the elves do call me regularly and they do leave mail in the mailbox. So the elves came on this day and left presents for the stockings because my kids had been really good um, for the kids. And so... I took a picture of the stockings with their stocking stuffers and then oh my goodness I just used um a two by two gold piece here and then I stuck a sticker onto the page protector it's not really stuck onto the card it's stuck on the page protector and then I made a card here with some I had embossed a three by four white card with a wood grain embossing folder and then I just used some washi tape gold washi tape and ran it across to give it some lines and then I just put peace right here with a wood, a wood veneer from those American craft dollar finds at Joann's and then this is the back of that card and my husband had actually bought the girls some bracelets he had gone out to eat and they had those little 25 cent vending you know little machines and he got them each a bracelet. And Daniela's favorite color is yellow. And Gabby's favorite color is purple. So it came out perfect. Because she got a purple one. And she got a yellow one. And so I just put a thanks a bunch here. Because um, they were so excited that Daddy had bought them something. Because Daddy hardly ever buys them anything. Um, and then right here I had... Um, I had made this little card and it's a white card, a scrap piece of gold. And then this stamp here is from Simon Says Stamp, that little coffee set that I've been using a lot of, that little coffee, the die cut. Um, and I just used the Stamping Up Red and I colored it in the little heart with American Crafts gold pen, pen, pen marker, I believe is what it's called. And I just put an epoxy sticker over it to make it look like a little, um, what are these things called? Flare badge. So then this day, this is what I was talking about on the previous video. My son had a pizza party. Um, and so I didn't have anything that was pizza or, you know, um, fast food related. So I just drew a pizza on a one inch circle punch. And then I just put an epoxy sticker over it and I colored it in with Copics. And the same here, I didn't have any hamburgers or fries. So I just hand drew these and I stuck them on a one, you know, I hand drew them on a one inch plain circle. And then I colored it using Copics and then I put an epoxy sticker as well. So on this day, they had had a canned food drive back in November. And his class had actually won. And I didn't know when they were having the pizza party because they hadn't told us. So he had missed school on Monday, this day. And so whenever he came home from school on Tuesday, I asked him. I remembered and I asked him, Simon, when is your... Um, your school party, you know, your pizza party. He's like, oh, they already had it. That's how he talks. <laughs> they already had it on, you know, that they had already had it on Monday. And so I was like, are you sure that they had it? And he's like, yeah, they already had it. <laughs> it was so funny. And he kept on telling me that they had had it. So I was like, okay. Um, and then he was like, can you go eat with me on Friday? I was like, sure, I'll take you. What do you want? He wanted a hamburger and fries from McDonald's. So I took him a Happy Meal from McDonald's and... That's him eating his yogurt, and they had the pizza party that day. So he ended up getting a slice of pizza, his hamburger, and his fries, and his soda, and his yogurt. And I believe I even bought chicken nuggets, because that's what I was going to eat, and he ended up eating those as well. So that's why I made these little flare badges here. And then I took a picture of him in school. He was talking to his substitute teacher, and he was telling her, but I thought we already had it. <laughs> So I was wanting to put, we already had it on this card right here, but I haven't gotten around to doing that because he's like, oh, we already had it. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so adorable. So that was on Friday. On Saturday, my daughter had her game to this. She stood up in. Um, this is her friend, and I don't know if I'm okay with showing these, but I will go ahead and show them. Um, so that's her friend, and it was her 15th birthday, and my daughter is right here, and she stood up. 
in the quinceanera and this is her at the church and she's wearing her dress and she looks really pretty and then this is her and my husband they're being silly they were trying to take a really he's like wait up let's take a picture of me being silly and then he's like no don't take it and he took off his hat because he had it on backwards you know like old school backwards you know like 1990 backwards uh, so she was like no don't take a picture like that and, and he thought that I wasn't going to take the photo and I took the photo and he's like no don't take it and so then they took a serious picture him and um Daniela and Gabby this is Gabby this is Daniela and RJ and I didn't realize RJ was making a face in that in that picture until I was um printing it out I was like oh my god I never got a really good picture but that's a good picture because my son's a clown then here's the mariachis that were playing at the dinner um and then this is the dance hall and it's actually we use for our dance hall here in our town that's how rural we are we actually use our show barn and a show barn is basically if you have animals in ffa or anything um this is the show floor for your at for your animals so yeah we're a very very agricultural community um so i love that picture right there because this is actually where i had my quinceanera when i was 15. That's my niece, my daughter, and my daughter Gabby who stood up. And then I just put a vellum sheet and I wrote on it and I backed it with um, some glitter, a glitter 3 by 4 card. Um, so yeah, I really love those pictures. And then week three, I just used some Heidi Swaps um, stickers. And then these stickers here were given to me by Beth's scrapbook room and then a thicker. And then I used a sticker of a Santa Claus and so that's all I did for week three. And then I used my Lawn Fawn stamp set that I was actually going to sell. I decided not to because I really like this birch. I think this is birch trees. I'm not too sure. But I love it. And I put it on vellum and embossed it in gold. And then I stuck a white sheet so that you could see through it. Because I did the same on the back. And when it was by itself, it looked really crazy. It kind of looked like this up here. It was really off. And I really didn't like it. So I just put a white piece of paper in there. And we didn't do anything on Sunday. It was a lazy day. My son got hot Cheetos and he, they got little trolley gummies from the advent calendar and my son's reading where he had found it. This is on Monday. He was sick home with the stomach bug and hence I drew a little bug right there. Um, and I did the same thing on the back with that stamp set and then gold embossing powder and the vellum. And then right here I took a picture of Daniela because we actually started her science fair project which should have been done by Friday. We just started it on Monday and we had two months to do this and I'm such a procrastinator and so is she so it didn't work out that we started it early so we were like really busted to get it out so that is my December daily so far I have not done yesterday or today's I will try to get um, some of it done hopefully here pretty soon so thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye bye